Okay, guys. Well, I was getting ready to plant my starts. These are the store-bought ones. Uh, just trying to get a jump on things because the weather been so up and down. Not really knowing when we was going to get a break in the weather to do our spring planting. So, the news said we might have a, not a freeze tonight, but low temperatures. And one thing you don't want to do is put your starts out and they die because they are still young. As healthy as they're looking right now, they're, they're not ready to uh, deal with 30 degree temperatures. So, whew, let's see if we can do it Monday evening and get them done. And I'm going to show you around on the progress that we got for the garden that I haven't finalized yet is I want to get me some cattle panels to make like a, it would seem like, it, it, it looked like an arch, but it's like a trellis. So I got these two trellises here, which is still good and still usable. But once I expand the area, I want to be able to have uh, trellises for the other sections too. Now I put these lights up here. I don't like them. They don't, they're not bright as I thought they would be. Um, I'm gonna see how they look tonight. But last night when I came out, maybe, maybe because I had just put them out, I don't know. I, I don't like them. So I'm trying to figure out what else can I do with them. Um, I was gonna at first line them across the gate, but I don't know if that's gonna be a good idea because I have the containers and all that's gonna do is block the what you would consider supposed to be the light. I like using the just the stick in the ground solar lights better. That I think that lights it up a whole lot better than these things. Yes, they cute if you having like a little party maybe. Maybe um I will keep them once we clear this section in here over me off and I put my patio table and stuff over there maybe. Maybe that'll look fine then, but I don't like them. So they probably going to come down until we decide what what else can we do. But that's all for this video. I'm going to give you one more look at this. Again, I sifted this. This is a lot of soil, guys. This bed been here uh, probably four years as well. And the soil is, when I say it's soft and it's good, it is. So th these two totes came up out of here. And I can see that. I can put more in there, but what I will do, I'm going to probably get some new potting soil, not potting soil, but new raised bed soil, and I might just top it off with some new soil. Um, and I'm going to use this here, like I said, for them. But if, if I do that, I still have to find a place to hold this once I sift it. So I might have to find another tote and just put like a bigger tote and put everything that I sifted in that because I can't put it in that yet. And so I can have this soil and so I can at least be able to bust it down. So I think maybe the next time I go in and sift soil, I, I, I clear this side here. I could have finished it today, but I got tired. So it is what it is. So this is how it's looking right now and in my opinion i like it it's nothing super spectacular but i like it for what i'm using it for and over the next few months you'll see it the look change because i'm, I'm pretty sure i'm gonna switch it on how everything is laid I don't know. At least those right there, because <laughs> I'm pretty sure this one here is super, super heavy already. All of them heavy, so I'm not worrying about them blowing away, no nothing. They're gonna, they're not gonna go anywhere. And even if I decide to switch up something, guess what? I can still use them as a sit-down bench. Anyway, so have a good day. Go and grow something. Um, it is relaxing. It is rewarding. So, um, yeah, the progress, gardening, 
if you are a gardener or no gardeners, unless they have a professional landscaper, unless they have someone that comes out and maintain a garden, because it gives the amendments time to kind of get up in them. I mean, I could wait a couple of days, but tomorrow will be fine. And onions, onions. That was a, a young collard, so I'm leaving that one in there. Um, and there's nothing else in there but just that. So I got onions, onions, and I took a collard out of this one here. So I'm going to put, I don't know what I'm putting them yet. I'm still debating on what I'm going to put in what. I do have like peppers, I have tomatoes, kale, I have collards, banana peppers, bell peppers. So definitely that is what I'm starting out with. I do have some starts in the house that I just planted. So I'm waiting on them to do what they're going to do. Um, this part here, if my goal, like I say, hopefully I can get this here out. I'm shooting for next weekend. I wanted it out by today, but that wasn't going to happen. And these bricks wore me out, uh, pavers. So I'm... I'm gonna um, start the next section, like I said, right here, that first uh, square, I'm gonna uh, unloose that, and these here just lifts up. So they're not in that any particular kind of way. I should be able to just raise the uh, plat, the, the board up, and just take them out. Um, I'm going to do the same thing I did on this side. I'm not gonna do no grading, or none of that stuff. I am gonna lift those pavers up straight across here. I'm going to lay this stuff down, and then I'm going to start um, doing that side. Once I do this 4x4 four four here, I say 4x4, four four, but this is a 4x4, four four, but this part here, I'm going to, at least my intentions, I will say that, is to put these over the, on that side. So, I'm trying to be patient. Of course, and not fill these here up, because let me let me tell you, they're not heavy, heavy, empty, but they're not going to be as light. Definitely not going to be light if I put soil in there now. So I'm going to hold off before I put any soil in these things here, because once they're once I put soil in, they won't be moved at all because they're going to be too heavy. So I think those would be good in this area right here. In or I may or may not move move this here. Um, some of these over and maybe put these in between. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm not gonna say like a big old fancy design, but I'm gonna put it to where it makes sense. So, and again, the water puddles up right here. Hopefully, we do not ever get water that's just gonna totally soak the pavers at all. But we'll see what I can do about this little part right here. Um, I may or may not have to lift the this first row right here behind this plant and may or may not have to uh, maybe raise it up, put something under there, who knows? Because I just I don't want it just to be looking just totally stupid or anything like that. But at the end of the day, I do want to make sure that um, it serves the purpose I need it. My red trough over there, we've been doing a lot of what you would consider outside spring cleaning. So I have my wheelbarrow here. I've been sifting dirt. That's my sifter. I told you guys I was gonna make to get that uh, soil out of that bed that I'm trying to knock down. So we're gonna go up in here and see what's going on. So I haven't moved these yet. I'm not gonna move them. Um, Maybe tomorrow when I get off work, we'll see. Um, I did water my soil and um, my onions. And, uh, whew, I'm tired. This this plant here, which is a uh, collard, is getting ready to come out. I forgot to take that one out. I took the other two out. I need to take this one out. But remember, I laid the pavers and yes it's water puddled up right here which i knew that because of the way the ground slope 
And remember, I didn't do nothing fancy for us dig up the ground, level it out, all that stuff. That was just going to be too much on me. And technically, this is still not my property. So I just can't go and start busting up dirt and doing something permanent, which I really wanted to lay a slab down here. But that wasn't going to happen. So um, anyway, I watered the, the onions. I got onions, like I said, and everything in the exception of three of these here. So let me show you what I did. Uh, this soil here, even though it's still a lot in here, I sifted the soil because I didn't want those weeds or that grass uh, clippings with rooted with roots to get into the soil. And like I said, this in my bucket. So the soil is really good. It's still so soft. Um, even that side, but I'm just I don't think I'm gonna deal with that side at all. I think I'm just gonna just bust it down and. And try to see how I can get that just hauled away. Okay, so we have, these are the totes that I made this particular stand for, for them to sit in there. No, they're not the bigger totes, but they're okay. Um, I'm not going to switch it at all. I do need to dust it off. You see how I sifted that soil. But I sifted it in a wheelbarrow first and then went through it and dumped them. I added some amendments in here. Some bone meal, blood meal, some perlite, um, some chicken manure, as well as some azomite, just to kind of amend the soil a little bit. And I won't be digging anything in it. I mean, not digging, but planting anything in there again because it's supposed to freeze or be cold tonight. And I just don't want to risk it. I mean, they may be okay, but I'm just going to take it one day at a time and just say, okay, one more day won't hurt them being in, a, uh, in the uh, containers that they're in and we'll tackle them tomorrow. God says the same. Then I have my onions right here. Again, like I said, I watered everything. This is one that's empty. I took the uh, collars out of. So everything I mended and uh, freshened it up so it could be ready for the uh, new plants. So it's a good thing still that I didn't plan anything in there right now on what we can do first and what we can't do. So just trying to get it to where it's low maintenance as possible, where we're not pulling weeds and having to do, you know, cut at least inside of here as often. Hopefully a little weed eater can do what it needs to do or a few little hand pulls. But this bed here gave me the blues. Bad enough, you know, I have the... Um, regular grass and weeds coming through so i'm just really trying to prevent so much of that now even if it may take a while but even if we start getting um grass to come through here if um it won't be as bad because you can at least pull right there or you can find some kind of chemical stuff to um kill the weeds Now this area right here was mulched it had a tarp on it then i mulched it and it took a it took a while before the grass actually stopped protruding. But if you know, a lot of that comes from not maintaining it as much as you should. So I'm gonna let you peep inside the greenhouse. It's, it's junky. But this is I did this about four years ago, and if you can tell, the floor is nothing protruding in there. You know, um, every now and then he. You know, my husband will pull some weeds that's coming on the side or whatever. So, that is the purpose, is to get this area here as low maintenance as this. And it, yes, it is time to get this greenhouse recovered. Um, because what's in there that don't supposed to be in there, we're just trying to protect it from the rain and the elements. So, we are working on deciding on if we're going to get a shed or not. So, and this will help with, with like winter growing and stuff as well. But right now, we're kind of like doing what we can under the situations <laughs> that we're working on. But yeah, guys, so I hope, you know, it's starting to make a little sense. I mean, I, we have about two more months, two and a half months of school left. And my goal, my goal is to have this whole side right here completed before summer will it happen we don't know it's just the, it's just the weather 
It's just whatever, what else on our schedule comes up. But at least if we have this side here completed, this side here, we can take our time with and do because we're not moving the water tote at all. That is fine. Um, but we are going to move those two beds over there. We may or may not keep them to garden in or I may just bust them down, use what I can off of them. And um, who knows? But the greenhouse, we haven't decided if we're going to keep it over here. Or if we're going to, uh, I'm sorry, I've just got you all in the greenhouse. Or if we're going to um, just get another covering for it. So another thing I want to do, I'm still going to use that. Again, I said once before, but that's kind of like once I get in that area, then I decide on how I want to do it. Because now, I'm, since I got this area over here done, I'm definitely going to do each, the rest of them uh, section by section. Because, again, it's, it's not cheap to do it, but it's not super expensive either. And then, again, like I said, the pavers are not as light as, you know, you may think. And just carrying two at a time is like, Ooh, okay. And you start feeling it, me as a female. So these here, I would be moving these here pretty soon. They're going to go over. I got to pull that kill out of this bed. We do have onions in this one here too. My husband wanted to see how that was going to grow. He's really trying to kind of get a little bit more involved in the gardening process with me. So we're going to see how that go as well. My old, old, my very first greenhouse frame, I am going to probably go and get rid of that. Just get that out the way. I have some PVC pipe down there. I am going to use that, but I think what I am going to do with that is I'm going to actually use that probably for these here. I'm going to probably do self-watering, um, a self-watering system, especially if have it set up before the summer well before i even feel the dirty and i'm going to probably have it set up because again once you start putting stuff in there it's going to be hard to do anything else with it so i'm going to do that and see how that works for me for the summer because if you've been around long enough checking out my videos you know that um texas heat is no punk and yeah i got my water spigot um but i still want to conserve as war as much as as much as possible too because that comes on the uh water bill and my rain catchment system i'm still um i'm still gonna still try to perfect that um i know one of the biggest issues i have with that even though i made the the tower back there um it's just a lot of it's still a lot of work i may tear it down or and revamp it or i may just try to revamp the top part and see if I can get it like I need it because you got to get the water flowing, you know, to where it go, it runs off in, in there. And that's been a challenge uh, for me. Now, I've been talking about getting a gutter system because I do not have a gutter system. But before I do that, I, I'm going to have someone to come out and check my roof for leaks, just to weatherize and things. So, yeah. Um... That's where we at. I'm sorry it looks <laughs> cluttered up right now, but that's because it's like I had I had to stop and I don't want to sit these outside my fence um, at all because you never know what people intentions are. We working. Uh, we just pulled the uh, grill out because it's time for us to start utilizing that. That's the propane grill. I always use the uh, the, the smoker over here. But I do want to start using my propane grill. So, like I said, the whole area, at least our little lot that we're on, you know, we're just trying to perfect it and make it as neat and, and less cluttered as possible. So, it's just with the work schedule for them, unless they retire and that's all they have to do. And when they started, they didn't have to do the things like I do. They have the space. You may not see them all the time doing what what I'm doing, constantly trying to reconstruct something, but it it can be a lot of work, but it don't have to be a lot of work. It just depends. So I'm a full time worker, part time worker, and I'm just a person that you know likes to get out here and garden and grow her own stuff. So it is time consuming. If you have that kind of time, and then oh, also I'm scared of bugs. 
<laughs> so that that's a whole, that's one of them things. But I have managed. Um, I got the wasps are starting to come out. You know, springtime is coming. So you just gotta. I don't know. You gotta just like know your environment and know what to do. And I'm learning my area. When I first got out here, we didn't have to. I wasn't worrying about possums and raccoons. But the longer I've been here now, for whatever reason, deers are coming out, possums coming out. We even seen a coyote. You know, we got uh, cameras, security cameras around, so we get to see what's going on. And when we hear different noises, we get to check the cameras to see what's what. And we're starting to see more things, so I'm glad. At least I do have a fence. Certain things won't keep keep them out anyway. But I ha so far, I haven't had a problem with the mess with my garden stuff. But you never know. Okay. But anyway, this video is going to be long enough. Um, and this is my 2024 spring update, spring cleaning. And I really do hope you enjoyed it. Um, hopefully... Um, I can keep you more in tune as I go with the progress of how everything is looking. The goal, my self goal, is by June 1st, this part is finished. Cross my fingers, and let's see if we can get it done. Have a great day.